she's a dream. Fade two, exterior alleyway, night. Trevon slips into the alleyway. He shoves something in his pocket and looks around before heading for the street. He checks to make sure no one sees him before he leaves the shadows. Interior, Trayvon's living room. Kaylee sits on the couch, watching something on TV. Kiara comes in, her cell phone in hand. She sits next to Kaylee and sighs. What's wrong? I'm worried about Trayvon. He hasn't been quite himself lately. Everything's going his way. He's going to be on top of the world as soon as we hit the road. Not everything. Are you talking about that girl? What was she like? Like you, only Scottish. Kiara can't quite wrap her mind around that. She shakes her head. He'll be fine, Kiara. Stop worrying so much. How can you be so sure? Kaylee mutes the TV and turns to face Kiara. She holds her face in her hands. He's my brother. Stop worrying. Kaylee drops her hands, realizing what she just did. Sorry. Can I ask you something? Kiara smiles. Of course. Kaylee doesn't respond at first, but stares at Kiara. How come you... I mean, Travon told me you were drunk the first night, but why don't you... Kiara chuckles. <laughs> yes, I, I slept with your brother. He's just not my type. Who is your type? Kiara smiles and puts her hand on Kaylee's. Do I really have to answer that? Kaylee smiles. They lean closer and their lips meet. It lasts for a while and Trayvon walks in. They jump apart, their cheeks red. Knew it. He heads upstairs. Interior, Trayvon's bedroom. Trayvon shuts the door behind him. He pulls a bag out of his pocket and stares at it. He sits on the bed, unsure. Still, he opens it and pulls out a box of syringes. He prepares his arm and shoots up. He closes his eyes as the drugs take effect. He lays back and cries. Exterior park, morning. The park is packed. A table is set up with Trayvon's new CDs. Girls and a few guys wait anxiously, giddy. Finally, girls scream as Trayvon is escorted from a tent to the table. His eyes are dark. He sighs and puts a smile on. He greets people in front of the line. Kaylee and Kiara stand nearby. See, he's happy, smiling, right where he wanted to be. I'm not so sure. His eyes. Kaylee takes her hand. Stop. You're assuming too much. Still, Kaylee looks at her brother, concerned. Two hours later, the crowds have thinned. Trevon looks tired, his cheeks red. His hand shakes as he extends it for the final fan. He signs her CD quickly and stands up. Enjoy it. Thank you for coming. He doesn't wait to be excused. He heads to the tent. Concerned, Kaylee follows him. Interior, tent. Trayvon searches his bag frantically. He hasn't seen Kaylee follow him. When he doesn't find what he's looking for, he throws it across the tent. Fuck! Trayvon! Trayvon jumps, his eyes wide. He's starting to sweat, in full withdrawal mode now. Trayvon, what is wrong with you? He shakes his head. Nothing. I'm just not feeling well. I think I'm coming down with something. Kiara storms into the room, a magazine rolled up in her hand. Liar! Trayvon sits, unable to stand. I am not! Kiara unrolls the magazine and hands it to Kaylee. Magazine cover. It's a picture of Trayvon. He's hiding behind sunglasses, a bag in one hand, money in the other. He looks nervous. In big, bold print, TK Angel, back in the habit. Kaylee throws it in the trash. You're using again. Uh, no, I'm not. They caught you on camera. They don't know what they're talking about. Then what is it? Kiara pulls Kaylee back. Let me talk to him. Go calm down. Get some fresh air. Kaylee is angry, but she nods. She kisses Kiara quickly and leaves the room. Kiara watches Trayvon sadly, unsure how to begin. She sighs and sits next to him. Cody, please, tell me what's going on in your head. How can I go on with my career being fake when my heart's been shattered, Kiara? Every morning I wake up with her face in my head, her voice echoes in my memory, and every time I think about her tears as she says goodbye to me, it, it, it shatters all over again. Kiara doesn't respond. Trayvon stands up, but immediately falls back, too dizzy to stand. Everything I've done, every smile, every laugh, it's all been a disguise. I'm hiding behind a mask because I don't know how to function without her. I, I was finally learning to live without pain. Kiara takes his hand. No, you were masking the pain in your old drug habit. You can't do that. You 
keep using, you're not going to be around. At least I wouldn't be in pain. Kiara sighs. She's losing this argument. Have you tried calling her again? What good would that do? She told me not to come back. Sometimes girls just want to be fought for. Trevon doesn't respond. His face drips with sweat. But you can't do much fighting when you're losing against drugs. Trevon lets tears fall, coming back to reality. I can't go back to rehab. Not now. Not when I worked so hard to get back here. Kiara grabs a towel and wipes his face dry. Are you out? Yes. I thought I had enough to get through today, but I guess I used more than I thought. Good. So I'll take you home. Tour starts in three weeks. We've got two weeks before any interviews. Let's go home and get you better. Trayvon smiles. What would I do without you? Kiara shakes her head and pulls him up. She takes in a long breath of air. Wait, don't answer that. You're delirious. Let's get you home.